In this video, we're going to show hardware debugging with MPLAB Express. So we're going to be using USB bridge interface, and this requires OpenJDK. So we'll show you some tips on how to get that installed. Let's get going. So I'm using the same project as I used in the previous video, which was about debugging with the simulator, which I found in Discover. Basically, it's just a project which, uh, as we push the switch, our LED turns on. Here, I am just testing for a switch value. And so if the switch value is high, I'll set it high, which is to turn it off. And otherwise, I'll set it low to turn it on. So I've set a breakpoint here. And if I push the button, target is halted, and the breakpoint is hit. So these are the connections here, connect to running USB bridge application. And you can see that my bridge application is connected, and there's some polling between this USB bridge and Express. And you can also see that I have a specific development tool serial number. And if I open project properties, that I won't see that here initially because I'm in the debug session. But if I stop the debug session, I can see the specific tool serial number connected. So we're going to show you how to set this up in this video. So canceling here, I will close the USB bridge tool. So next to the USB bridge is the tips to start hardware debugging. And this is what we're going to come in and reference. So what it's telling me to do is come into Project Dashboard and the Project Properties. And here, there are some instructions on how to set this up. So first of all, the bridge tool relies on OpenJDK. So what we need to do is download this zip file and extract it. So I have extracted it into Java JDK 15 under Program Files. So if you edit Environment Variables, Environment Variables, and there's a variable Java Home that you'll need. And under Path, I've put Java Home bin at the start of the path. A quick test of if this is running correctly is to run a command, Java dash version, and you see 15.02, so that is correct. You'll find a number of tutorials to install OpenJDK online, or you can use the Oracle JDK, which has an installer. Once that is done, you come to Express and download the USB bridge tool. So this is a jar, which I've already downloaded to the desktop. Clicking to run. And once the tool is running, I come back to Express and connect to the running tool. And you'll see some updates here. Once the tool is running like that, you can go to Project Dashboard, select Curiosity Nano, and click OK. And then you open it again. And now under the Curiosity, you'll see a serial number. So we click Apply. And now we should be able to start a debug session. So once you see that API command run, then the program is running. And again, my target halts when I trigger the breakpoint by pushing the switch in. Happy debugging.